Hello world, Noah here. And today I'm going to show you how to install Homebrew on the brand new Apple Silicon Macs. I'll be doing this demo on a late 2020 MacBook Air with the Apple M1 chip. First, open up your favorite browser and head over to brew.sh. Click the clipboard icon to copy the installation command. Next, open up a terminal and paste and run the command. If you don't get an error message and Homebrew installs like normal, then congratulations, you live far enough into the future that Homebrew is officially supported on Apple Silicon Macs you can feel free to stop watching this video and just install and use Homebrew like you normally would. But if you are getting this error message, then keep watching. As the error message says, Homebrew isn't officially supported on Apple Silicon yet, so we have two choices. We could either install Homebrew under Rosetta 2, or we can install it natively. Either one of these options works, but I would recommend the native install. When you install Homebrew natively, any package you install with it will be built as a native ARM executable, and you won't have to run it through the Rosetta 2 translation layer. There are two minor drawbacks to the native install. First, any packages you install will have to be built from source, since there are no pre-built binaries, which Homebrew calls bottles, available yet for Apple Silicon. This means that it'll take longer to install packages, but once they're installed, you're good to go. The second drawback is that some packages may not be compatible with Apple Silicon 2 natively at this time, in which case you'd have to fall back to the Rosetta 2 installation of Homebrew. I was able to install quite a few popular packages, including Python and Node.js, through my native Homebrew installation, and the only issue that I actually ran into was with Java. I have a separate video all about this that'll be uploaded a few days after this one, and once it's up, I will put a card somewhere on this video. My recommendation is to start with a native install of Homebrew and then do a Rosetta install of Homebrew in addition later on if it's necessary. I'll show you how to do it both ways. Installing Homebrew under Rosetta 2 is very easy. First, quit the terminal. Then find the terminal app in the finder. You can command click on the terminal icon in the dock or just navigate to Applications Utilities. Right click on the terminal icon and select Get Info then check the box that says open using Rosetta. Once that's done, you can open terminal and proceed with the installation like normal. Note that you must run the terminal using Rosetta in order to use this installation of Homebrew. Installing Homebrew natively is a bit trickier, but it's still pretty straightforward. First, make sure that the open using Rosetta box is unchecked for the terminal. You can switch between Rosetta mode and native mode as often as you'd like, just make sure you're in the correct mode for the installation of Homebrew that you're using. Next, type the command in the description of this video to download and run a script I wrote to install Homebrew. The script is super simple and you can feel free to audit it yourself. If you aren't using ZSH as your shell, take a look at the last line of my script because you'll need to add Homebrew to the path manually. And that's it. Just to show a quick demo, I'll install the totally legal YouTube DL on my native Homebrew installation. Notice that Homebrew also builds Python 3.9 from source as a dependency. If I take a look at the Python executable, you'll notice that it's a native ARM64 executable, no Rosetta 2 here, and YouTube DL works exactly as you'd expect. One last note, if you do install the native and Rosetta 2 versions of Homebrew, you'll notice that the brew command will only point to one of those installations, depending on the order of entries in your path. The Rosetta 2 version is stored in user local bin brew, and the native version is stored in opt homebrew bin brew. You can find out which one the brew command points to by running the command which brew in the terminal. In my case, the brew command points to the native version. If I need to use the Rosetta 2 version, I can just type the full path to the executable, like user local bin brew install YouTube DL. You can also experiment with aliases and symbolic links if you're interested. Thanks for watching this video. I hope I was able to help you out if you have an Apple Silicon Mac, and if you were thinking about getting one, maybe this answers some of the questions that you had. Make sure to check out my other video where I install a bunch of popular packages and discuss compatibility. It'll be uploaded a few days after this video, and I'll link it in a card and in the description below once it's available. You can follow me on Twitter at nrubin29, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe 
you know, all the usual stuff. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye for now.